Hello and welcome to Miss Judy's Number Bond series. In this series, we're going to take a look at creating number bonds from 1 through 10. And why should you learn the number bonds? You should learn number bonds because number bonds help your children to see that numbers can be broken into pieces, which makes computation a lot easier for them. Also, they're going to see how the whole and the parts match up. So when they see the number 2, they'll see the different pieces that make up the number 2 instead of just memorizing that 0 plus 2 equals 2, they'll see all the different ways that you can get to the number 2. So let's get started. The first number bond that we're going to take a look at is the number 1. So we have one apple on the screen. So how many number bonds can we make from the number 1? The first thing we can always do is a 0. So we know we have a 0 and a 1. When we go to create the number bond, on the left side of the part, we have a 0. And on the right side of the part, we have a number 1. So our whole is the number 1, and the parts that make it up are a 0 on the left side and a 1 on the right side. Let's see, is there another number bond that we can create? Well, because we created a 0 and a 1, we can now create a 1 and a 0. But this time the 1 is a left part and the 0 is a right part. Two different number bonds. Same amount, whole, is a 1, but this time we have a 1 on the left side and a 0 on the right side. So when you look at the number bonds that we just created, for the number 1, there's two number bonds, a 0 and a 1, with the 0 on the left side and the 1 on the right. And the second number bond is a 1 and a 0, the 1 on the left side and the 0 on the right side. Two different number bonds that make up the number 1. Now what does this mean in terms of math facts? Well, for the math facts, we now know that there's two ways to make the number 1. The first way that you can make the number 1 is with a 0. So it would be 0 plus 1 equals 1. That's our whole. The second math fact is 1 plus 0 equals 1. So there are two ways to get to the number 1. We can do it as a 0 plus 1 or as a 1 plus 0 because there's two number bonds that make up the number 1. The next number that we're going to take a look at is the number 2 which um, I'm going to use two apples to represent the number 2. Let, let's see how many number bonds can we create. Well, we know there's two apples and there's going to be a 0. So the first number bond that we can create is with a 2 and a 0. So we have a whole of 2 and on the left part we have a 2 and for the right part we have a 0. So we have a 2 that's the whole, and we know that a 2 and a 0 is makes up one of the parts. Now let's see if we can create another number bond. Still have two apples, but we can create with a 1 and another 1. So we have a 1 and a 1, which gives us the number 2. So for the number bond, on our left part, we'll have the number 1. And for our right part, we'll have the number 1 also. So that's two number bonds that we have right now for the creating the number 2. Now let's see if there's another one that we can create, also with the same two apples. Well, if we had a 2 and a 0, that means we can have a 0 and a 2. So on the left side of our number bond, we have a 0. And on the right side, we have a 2. So we have 
for two apples we were able to create two different number bonds a two and a zero a one and a zero and a zero and a two let's see how this looks again as number bonds so we have the two that's our hole for the number bond the first number bond that you can make for the number two is a zero on the left side and a two on the right side. The, sec the second number bond would be a number one and another number one. Now the last number bond that we can create is with the number two on the left side and a zero on the right side. So those were the three number bonds that we were able to create that equal the whole, which is the number two. When we look at the math facts that we've also learned, we've learned that zero plus two equals the number two, which is the whole. We also learned that one plus one equals the number two which is the whole. And finally, we also learned that because we have 0 plus 2, 2 plus 0 also equals the number 2. This is using the commutative property of addition where you can switch the numbers around and you'll get the same answer. Also, with the 1 plus 1, that is called a double. Now, what a double means is that you're basically adding the number to itself. So in this instance, we're adding the number 1 to the number 1, which gives us the number 2.